It's really chilling when you hear that. That's the voice of a murderer that police believe could be hiding in plain sight in Indiana. Investigators also releasing a new sketch of the man who they say killed Liberty German and Abigail Williams two years ago. Charlene Cristobal from our Fox affiliate in Indianapolis joins us live from Delphi, Indiana, where the teens were murdered. Good morning, Charlene. Good morning, Jillian and Todd. I just want to show you this new sketch this morning. It's posted up on many businesses here in Delphi. The community is just really at an ease this morning. They've been waiting for answers for more than two years, and now they have the face of the man they believe, police believe, murdered Abby and Libby. Now, this is the new sketch. He looks a lot younger than the original sketch that was released back in 2017. Police say the suspect is between the ages of 18 and 40 and may actually look younger than his true age. They believe, as as you mentioned the killer is from Delphi living in this town or used to live here. Maybe works here, visits regularly. We also saw a new video. It may look familiar. It circulated for a while because it was a still shot and that was at the time the only known picture we had of that killer. But this time it shows movement, something police say the public should pay close attention to. They think someone out there might recognize the killer's walk or maybe the mannerisms in this very short clip. And there's also a bit more sound of that man talking. Now you can hear that man saying guys down the hill. Previously, we only heard down the hill. So authorities believe that this clip of audio was taken while the girls were on the high bridge trail where they were hiking. Investigators believe the clip was recorded roughly half a mile from a parking lot near that trail. And they're trying to find the driver of a car that was left in that parking lot. And that was during the time the girls also went hiking. Now this is the first significant new information that we've gotten since July of 2017 when that first was released, so it's been nearly two years. Police say that the new sketch has really generated a lot of tips for them. They've been coming in steadily, and they say that's exactly what they want. But this morning, they also have a message for the killer. They're coming for you. Send it back to you, Jillian and mm -hmm. Todd. Charlene, thank you for that very important update. It's been tears of agony for the families, I'm sure. So if you have any information, make sure you contact your local police.